Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Priyanka Bakai. I'm the founder and CEO of Phrenology, and I'm excited to tell you all about how our technology um, could be a great solution for the low-value plastics in Colorado today. So I think we all uh, see the news. We all know that plastic is a defining problem of our time. Less than 10% of plastic waste is recycled globally. And with the recent China ban, unfortunately, recycling um, is becoming even more challenging. And Renewology is trying to find a solution for that um, by addressing different parts of the supply chain. Um, the core of what we do is chemically recycling plastics back to their molecular form so that we can close this broken cycle right now and take plastics back into a form where they can be used as a petrochemical feedstock to then make new plastics. So the goal of chemical recycling really is to create this um, chain where we can infinitely recycle plastics um, by taking them back into their molecular form. Uh, how the technology works, um, sort of at a very high level, you can think of it as Legos. We're basically taking um, these long carbon chains and splitting them up into smaller carbon chains. Uh, so what we do is we uh, feed the plastic into our process. It's an oxygen-free environment, um, so it's different from incineration. Sometimes people are confused at how this is different from burning. Um, there's no oxidation, so Thus, there's no emis toxic emissions um, that come off the process, no dioxins that come off the process. All we're doing is taking plastics back to their basic vapor phase, and then from there, cooling those vapors to make different distillate products. And we can make a range of distillate products. Right now, we target making a diesel fuel, which can be used as a replacement from fuel that comes from the ground. Um, but over the next few years, we're hoping to be able to use the naphtha that we produce from our process um, so that a petrochemical facility can take that naphtha, which is used to make plastics, and make new plastics out of it. Uh, in order for that to happen, there needs to be uh, infrastructure at these petrochemical companies to be able to accept this material. Um, but we're having those conversations currently, and we're hoping in the next few years that that will become a reality. Uh, so the value proposition is pretty clear. Um, so we're targeting low value plastics, things like three through seven bales, um, flexible packaging, multi-layer materials, which currently get sent to landfill. So that's a cost. And we're creating a value of at least $500 per ton from that material from the fuel that we're creating. Uh, we also are able to offset carbon from our process because instead of drilling for oil from the ground, we're able to use plastic, which is going to landfill anyway, to create these fuels. And the operating cost also makes a lot of sense. It costs roughly $30 per barrel to produce um, this fuel, which currently can be sold for roughly $80 per barrel. Um, so in terms of our track record, we started Renewology when I was a student at MIT. We set up a pilot facility at the University of Utah, working closely with them to scale up the technology. Um, and we recently, um, started our first commercial scale facility in Canada, in Nova Scotia, with a waste company there, um, which we just commissioned. And um, the next facility will be uh, partnering with the city of Phoenix um, at their resource innovation campus. And our modular design is basically to go to different regions of the country and co-locate um, these facilities, which you can see here. They take up, take up roughly the size of a tennis court. Um, we partner with both cities and states, waste companies, brands, um, and petrochemical companies. Uh, we're considered a market leader. There's been some recent reports from both closed loop partners and American Chemistry Council um, forecasting just the potential of chemical recycling over the next decade. Um, and Renewology is definitely considered a market leader amongst the companies out there. Um, compared to some of the previous generation um, of these technologies, which used uh, less efficient processes, they were batch processes and not as automated. Um, Renewology, um, because we have a continuous process in the automation, um, we have a much lower operating cost and capital cost, which make us compelling. Um, our revenue model is really to partner with local companies wherever we go um, to form joint venture partnerships. Um, that way, um, we're able to provide financing to set up these facilities and expand in more locations. Um, our team is led by um, a number of people who have decades experience across aerospace, waste companies, uh, energy companies, EPC contracting. Um, and I'm almost running out of time, um, so let me just skip over these. <laughs> um, but um, definitely, we'd love to get in touch with more of you, with more of you, and see you know what potential there are for partnering with companies in Colorado to bringing this technology here. So thank you so much, everyone.